Okay, so I'll try to explain what my plans are and what I've done so far and what I'm trying to do now, what I'm stuck on. Um, the tank will have various modes and some of the articulation is just for those other modes. Right now, this is the default ground-based mode, driving around and jumping and whatnot. They'll be hovering, uh, flying, space, and underwater as well. And no, none of those will require a physical interaction with the, the ground so much, like this one does. This one's the hardest one to do, I believe. Um, the main mode here. Uh, right now I have all the details hidden and off to the side, just to, for simplicity's sake. Um, here's the doors. You can kind of see their silhouette there and their hinges. Um, here's some wheel details. That's the wheel and uh, the front hubcap, I guess. And then over here is all the body details, interior and exterior, like some antennas and all the interior stuff, the reserve tank on the exterior and the boosters. So that stuff's all hidden right now just to simplify things. And if I scope in once, then I have a collision box for each wheel. That's this gray box and that's hidden. And then a collision box on the body as well. And that's hidden as well. And show my connectors here. The tires, I use a rotator, and that makes it drive around as the tires interact with the ground, and that works pretty good. Um, doesn't have quite the power I need to go up hills or anything, so I might need to use a mover in conjunction with that to give a little more oomph. But right now, that's just fine. Um, the steering is controlled by animations on the uh, wheel here. This vertical connector is the tires, and that's uh, the tightness on that is pretty loose at the moment, and they are set to movable and collidable. Well, at least that collision box is anyways. It's part of that group. And this vert, yeah, this horizontal one is for the steering. And that is not movable. Uh, and the tightness is maxed out at the moment. And I can loosen it and it'll smooth out the steering. I can always tweak that later. Right now I just have it maxed out and it kind of it slows the steering down a little bit and it also creates some torque on the body but I can adjust that as a right now it's fine um, this connector here is to when the legs tilt let's say 90 degrees down to give the body some uh, put it at a different angle to go to 45 this needs to counter rotate in the opposite direction so the steering remains uh, horizontal with the, the ground so I can still steer. And that's all that connector is for. This connector here is just for different modes. If I want, and it's a universal one, say I bring these out Bring that in. And I'm, I'm more precise with it usually. I'm just trying to be more quick. But then say this comes back like that, and that's your thrust now. That's a thruster for going backwards or uh, whatnot. Or they come up, and then it's a quad, a quadcopter or something. So it's just for different modes, putting it in different positions so it has a different functionality, appearance-wise anyways, even though it actually doesn't do anything at that point. Um, and then it can also 
swing down for your hover mode. And this is the main connector or this one. Right now I have this one set to uh, nothing. Like it's tightness is maxed out and has an angle limit range of zero. But if I decide to use it for the lift, I can use it or I can try to use uh, this universal joint. Either one works for the, the lift. And that all connects up to the body. So it's uh, the body is the parent to this child. This is the parent to this child. This is the parent to that child all the way down. So I've got it going in the natural order. This connector here is for the cannon rotation of 45 degrees. <clears throat> and in conjunction with the lift, then you can get a full 90 degree rotation. So the arms will rotate down 90 degrees, the front arms will rotate down 90 degrees. The back arms actually rotate up in the counter direction, the opposite direction, 45 degrees. And then that puts the whole body at an even 45. And it looks kind of cool that way. That's the way the Sega Genesis version does it. <clears throat> and it works out. And then from there, I can still rotate the Canon 45. So when you're playing, you're driving around normally, the, everything's down and horizontal, and the Canon can aim up and down 45 on its own. And then once you get to that limit, if you need to go higher, then the body can rotate up another 45. And then your Canon can uh, aim up and down within that range from 45 to 90. Alright, I will show jump into preview mode here. And I have driving working pretty good. Right now I have uh, the, the tires connector is as loose as it can, I think they're down to 50%, so they're pretty loose. There's a little, when I stop driving, it takes a minute for it to come to rest. Um, here's my turning animations, and they're working as I like them. So all that works. But I can show there's, because I have those tight, tight uh, connectors so tight, they, they put a little torque on the body. And it also slows the animation. It takes a second for the animation to uh, catch up, which is fine for now. I might keep it that way, I might not. I might loosen them just a little bit. And then I have another mode, if I hit triangle, <clears throat> this is just temporary, where it's like tank controls. And then each stick up and down controls the drive of the right and left tires. So the left stick controls the drive of the left tires. The right stick so controls the drives of the right tires. And then I have tank-like controls and forward on both sticks and back and I hit triangle and I can go back to the normal driving and then if I go back and it's a pretty solid build so far <clears throat> it doesn't break easily It's got decent suspension. And I don't absolutely need this suspension. I just like it. If I have to take a totally different route to get this to work, then I'm more, I'll do it. I just like having that. And it only has to be on the tire, really. It doesn't have to be on the whole thing, the suspension. Um, so however it works out, I just got to get this lift working, and I can't figure out how to get the lift working. It doesn't like it. But it is nice to have that, that bounce. And a little bit of suspension. And it really only has to be on that last connector there for the tires. 